We're going to try this one more time for you. <laughs> Country music star Garth Brooks will have a full house when he hits the stage at Allegiant Stadium. He's performing on July 10th, again at Allegiant Stadium. It's going to be huge. And by the way, when tickets first went on sale, more than 65,000 tickets were sold in 75 minutes. Right. He is the only person, I feel like, who can do that. He's done so much in all parts of the music world. Garth, good to see you. I hope you can hear us this time. Can you hear us? <laughs> I can hear you fine. Hope you can hear cool. me. Good morning. We it loved your humming and singing along, whistling. whatever you were doing. <laughs> during the hey, you know, your, your uh, concert was supposed to happen last year and then again earlier this year. That's got to be frustrating that this concert has been postponed twice. Yeah, but, it, you know, the, the, the thing is, <clears throat> nobody's waiting longer than those people that originally bought those seats. So, <clears throat> just feel lucky uh, that this did not get swept away from the pandemic. And this is the beginning uh, of the stadium tour uh, for us. So this will be the very first show. So it's going to be um, totally people go, what's going to happen? I don't have a clue what's getting ready to happen. I just know it's going to be a lot of fun. OK, so I was going to ask you that because I know that uh, a couple of other shows when they had so much time to kind of plan, they've kind of changed their shows now that things are coming back. Are you making any changes? Can you give us any sneak peeks or surprises? Yeah, we had just launched the new stage uh, for one show when the pandemic hit. So now the new stage is being tweaked. It's all front row, 360 flat stage, which is kind of going to be hard on, on a guy with a big butt that's running around that place. <laughs> it's it's going to get really physical, but uh, just trying to catch up. Uh, the great thing is it's those songs. Just make sure you come and play those songs. They're going to sing. It's going to be fun. But I will tell you, I'm, I'm scared, nervous, excited, all the good things about getting started again. Well, they already sold out to capacity at 65,000, so they managed to find some extra seats somewhere on the floor. How did they rearrange that to, to find the extra seats? Well, you'll start production things, but over the years, you've had people that just say, hey, man, I, I either need this money or I'm, I'm going somewhere else. So uh, some of the best seats came back into the system. So that's what Monday is for, is, is to come in and bring these seats in for these people uh, who might want to come to this show. So uh, my thing is, if it's one or 100,000, it's all about just that connection with the people. So I'm looking forward to that. The, the number uh, doesn't matter, but I will tell you this, the more that you put into place, it just seems like the more of a party it becomes. Yeah. You know, a lot of people here are just so, so excited. I know you said that you're a little nervous, but you're excited to be back. What is it going to be like or what is going to go through your mind as you step on that stage for the very first time? Oh, man, that's that's easy. I'm going to walk out there feeling sorry for these people because I am going to kick their butt all over that place. <laughs> and 30 <laughs> seconds in, they're going to have me down. I'm going to be out of breath and I'm going to be hanging on the rest of the night. But that, that's kind of usual. They always pick me up and kind of take me across the finish line. But I go in there with great intentions. But this is going to be really high uh, emotional everything for me. I, I won't get through the first song without crying just because you haven't got to do it in 100 years. And and uh, when somebody takes that away, when you get it back, I think grateful is probably going to be the word that's mm -hmm. going to live within me and the band and the crew that we're actually getting to do this again. Now, Garth, you got such a history here in Las Vegas. I remember those days when Steve Wynn flew you in every weekend to do shows and they were always sold out. What do you think of Las Vegas? I, I love it. I mean, you got to go back to Thomas and Mac, you know, uh, uh, you, and then opening the T-Mobile. I mean, that, 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 that's, that stuff right there is fun. So there's a lot of uh, there is a lot of history, a lot of emotional uh, stuff because, you know, that the, the wind deal was coming out of retirement, you know, raising your babies and being off the road for 12, 14 years, coming to do that thing. So it, it was pretty cool how they kind of just take you and and cradle you and, and be whatever you need to be until you can get back up on your feet like they did at the wind and, and, and now getting back. Uh, and so it only makes sense that if you're going to start this tour up to finish it strong, you're going to start it in the city of Vegas, you know, and that's a, yeah. that, that's a cool marriage. Yeah, you are. Love You've that. won so many awards. <laughs> By the way, uh, congratulations on the Gershwin Award, the Kennedy Center. You're your entertainer of the year. I don't know how many times you've won a ton of Grammys. We're just so excited to have you here in Las Vegas. We really are. <laughs> Me too, man. Thank you guys very much. I love you guys, and a happy Father's Day to everybody this weekend. Happy Father's Day to you, yeah, by the way. Great. Hey, thanks See again. Go. We appreciate it so, so much. We are so excited. He was such a great interview. No, he always is, and he's so personable, and, and his shows just knock people off because he's just such a great entertainer. It just yeah. really brings it to you. We should go to the show. <laughs>